The laws of creation are constant, timeless, and unchangeable God mind that is dictated by a quantum intelligent design of primordial language. This language is manifested by a pure consciousness that is infinite, ever evolving environmental signals of wave, vibration, and sound frequency that is sacred geometry, the architecture of the universe. I've spent the better part of my life involved in a deep love affair with water. And at a very early age, I was introduced to the world of surfing. From the moment I first felt what it was like to experience being in the barrel, which I now call getting in the Fibonacci, I was hooked. And even though I was much too young to recognize this experience as sacred geometry, I did feel it in the form of a direct soul connection with the source of life that I would later come to realize as intelligent design of a supreme architect. I am your host, Jonah Bolt, the Octorian Starseed. We're going to be joined by a very special guest, Mr. J. Gabriel Cavazos, who's doing some amazing eco-village new technology development around the world. And we're really going to get into some deep, universal, sacred geometry, living organic material composites, some really exciting, world-breaking, grounding, amazing stuff. I'm Dr. Dan, this is Dr. Hamilton, and we're coming to you from the Apiron Center for Human Potential. We're excited today. Showcase behind us is a painting, Sacred Geometry painting, that was dedicated to Apiron Center for Human Potential. It was done by Charles Gilchrist, the fine artist, Sacred Geometry teacher. We send gratitude to Charles and his partners, Michael Rice and Gabriel Cavazos in Arcatu. So they have an endeavor of architecture of the universe. They're bringing sacred geometry and biogeometry into form for sustainable living. And we're super excited about the North Carolina Phi Spiral. Thanks, Charles. And you can find more about this painting uh, and the course that Charles took at charlesgilchrist.com. It's G-I-L-C-H-R-I-S-T, charlesgilchrist.com. Thanks, Charles. Okay, we're recording. We're recording right now? Yeah. Okay, have a seat, Charles. Oh, yeah, well. Here we go. So, uh, Charles, <clears throat> it's been an incredible uh, few days together. So we're yeah. here at Huntington Beach, Lake Erie, Ohio. And I still can't get over the fact that when I uh, listen to Midwesterners talk about the beach, they actually equate lakes to beaches uh -huh. yeah but the socal uh fam fam knows better than that but anyway <laughs> honestly we're in an amazing spot this is a beautiful beautiful spot charles talk to us a little bit about this area oh this is really old this is one of the most famous uh beaches in uh in the whole area huntington beach is they go to a lot of trouble to maintain it all these break walls that like this break wall we're sitting on there's a uh, let's see one two three four five six or seven break walls like this that are stacked up against this beach to keep the, the, the sand here. 
fantastic. And they keep bringing sand down like with the tons. And they grade it and they go all kinds of trouble to make this thing so beautiful and so wonderful. Yeah, so water. This this whole uh, video project is is dedicated to the future of us trying to bring about uh, water consciousness uh, with what we're doing with Project Arcatu and specifically uh, what has transpired between Arcatu and Appalachian Artesian Water uh, that is a really really sacred well at the top of the Blue Ridge Mountains, the Appalachian Mountains in North Carolina. So Charles and I had a chance to. Uh, go there and visit the property after the, we had uh, spoken at 3DL 216 this year. And that was pretty amazing when we were there talking and, and filling the land and vibing on, on what we're feeling about the pure water, the sacred water that uh, exists in our property is amazing. Yeah, the whole the whole area is beautiful. I mean, I love, I love North Carolina, especially the Blue Ridge. When you get higher, the higher the better. And this was like really a fabulous place. Just love the mountains down there. I love mountains everywhere, but they're all very different. And then mountains in North Carolina are particularly interesting. Old growth of wood, really uh, jungle-like. Uh, Super dense. Dense, you know, very, very beautiful place. Love it. The water, yeah. That water in that well there, it's, I can testify, that's pretty spectacular water. It's, it, it's spectacular, and that's what's in this vessel right here is the water from that particular well there in, in the Blue Ridge Mountains. And so I'm excited, so excited to be teaming up with Kim Taylor and the Appalachians Water Team and, and evolving it into ARCA2 Appalachian Water. And so we are trying to get everybody to take uh, notice of what we're doing with uh, the ARCA2 Water Tribe specifically. So any of you out there have been following any of our efforts and what we're doing with Project Arcadu, <coughs> all permeating from my uh, intensive study under uh, Charles's uh, uh, instruction of sacred geometry and how that's actually uh, transformed my own idea of, of organic built environment. And water is a main state of life. It's a main state of what we do and how we actually design and create what we do. I maintain that. I maintain that. Any place in the universe where there's a planet that has all three forms of water in existence, that is water vapor, liquid water, and frozen water, if you find all three of those elements, there will automatically be life there. Absolutely. I water would agree with that 100%. Whole, water is the whole key. Whatever it's there, life is there. 